Apple iPad Air, it's iPad version 5 basically. Pretty sweet, got the silver black Wi Fi 128 gigabyte version. Okay, let's open it up. As always, they package everything really nicely. Okay, yep, definitely the black frame, full size. Let's pop it out. Yeah, that's pretty thin. All black frame, then the bezel, thinner sides, silver back. Okay. Got the uh, normal materials, cha charger, power charger in here. Let's look at that later. And let's see if this thing powers up. Up here, I should know that. There we go. Pretty cool. Definitely has the iPad Mini flare. I wanted a new one because I really wanted some better speakers than what I have on my iPad 3. Okay, English, United States. I'm not going to show you my network, but let's log in. Okay, 87% battery charged. Found uh, my networks, enable location services. Hmm. What to do here? Hey everyone, so you can see I got a little hung up on the question here asking to install from iCloud backup or basically a local copy of iTunes uh, and iTunes backup. I'm not using iTunes, sorry, I'm not using iCloud backup because of the uh, size restrictions. I just haven't been paying for extra storage. They give you five, I have a bunch of apps that wouldn't cut it. So I've had to restore from an iTunes backup, which eventually I got it to work. It, uh, it's not a perfect process, it's very slow. It, all in is probably five to four to six hours of work to get this correct, but I, it did restore all my data, most of my settings. Um, didn't really lose anything, and you can always re-download your applications from iStore, um, the App Store rather, and. Uh, you know, make sure you do have a good backup before you set up. Uh, a new device if you're coming from an old device. Uh, I had some problems and I had to run the process twice because I, it ran once but then probably half of my applications were just stuck on this waiting status where they, they were just you couldn't delete them you couldn't download them again they were just waiting and they'd go to install and they wouldn't finish. So basically I had to run the iTunes restore again and it successfully cleared out those remaining applications.